Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ordering rational numbers. And we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So you see on the screen here we have 4 guys, Al, Bob, Carl, and Dan. They all completed a task, but they did it in various amounts of time. We want to see if we can put these guys in order from the shortest amount of time needed to complete the task to the longest. But you'll notice we have a problem. Al and Carl, their information is given to us in a percent, whereas Bob and Dan, their information is given to us in a fraction. And one of the keys that we need to remember is when you are ordering things that do not look the same, like fractions and decimals, or maybe percents and fractions, you need like terms. You need to put them all to where they all look the same, like they are all fractions, or they're all decimals, or they're all percents. Most of the time, the easiest term that you can get things into are decimals. So let's see if we can convert all of these into decimals, because once we do, it's easy for us to order them from shortest to longest. Starting with percents, those are easy to move to a decimal, because when you go from a percent to a decimal, all you need to do is you need to move the decimal place two times to the left. So we're going to say decimal place, and we'll write two times, that x is going to represent times, to the left. So right here in 47.2, we have the decimal right there. You're going to move it once. You're going to move it twice. So it's going to be 0.472. We're going to drop our percent sign, and it's going to be 0.472. We'll go ahead and put a zero in the ones place so it looks a little bit better. But 47.2% is the same as 0.472. Now you see Carl, he actually doesn't have a decimal, it's simply 51%. So if you're not sure where the decimal is because it's not there, it always goes after the ones place. So it's going to go right there. It's going to go over twice. And so it's going to be 0.51 or 0 0.51. 51 hundredths is the same as 51%. And that makes sense because 51% is going to be a little bit bigger than 47.2%. And 51 hundredths is larger than 472 thousandths. Now we have our two fractions. When you're changing a fraction to a decimal, you've got two options. You can divide up, which means in this case 9 25ths. You can divide the denominator 25 into your numerator 9, and you can get a decimal. But there's an easier way if possible. You can also look to see whether you can change the denominator into multiple of 10, 100, 1,000. Let's take 9 25 for example. Well, I know that if I multiply 25 by 4, I'm going to get 100. And that's important because when you're looking at decimal place value, the second place right here is the hundredth. So whenever you have a fraction that goes to the hundredths place, well, you can just write it as a decimal. So since we're making an equivalent fraction, 4 over 4 equals to 1. So we're multiplying 9 25 by 1. We're just making the 1 look like 4 fourths to get us a larger fraction, 36 hundredths. So that's going to equal 36 hundredths. So those two are the same. So now we have three decimals. Now we just need five tenths. And five tenths, we don't even necessarily multiply it by anything. Because if you look at your place value, this very first place after the decimal is the tenths place. So it's going to be 0 0.5. So now we have our four terms. Let's go ahead and put a zero after a few of these here so that they all go to the exact same place, to the thousandths place here. And then we can go ahead and put them in order. So I'll put my order over here, shortest to longest. And you see our shortest amount of time was Bob. The 9 25ths or 360 thousandths is our shortest. Next, we have Al, the 472 thousandths or 47.2%. And that's followed, it's close here between Carl and Dan, but Dan got done a little bit quicker. So we're going to finish with Dan, and then our final answer is going to be Carl. Now it's time for you to try. These four girls are saving up money towards a fundraiser. See if you can put the amount of progress they've made in order from greatest to least. When you have your answer, unpause the video and check your work. When you change all of these to decimals and make sure they go to the thousandths place, You'll see that Angie has the greatest amount saved. It's actually more than she needs to. Dan is almost all the way done. She's next, followed by Kathy. And then finally, the least amount saved is going to be Betty. Betty. 